Hi guys, just thought I'd let you know that this is my first ever YouTube video and I would just like to tell you a little bit more what the videos are going to be about before I get into my actual video. So obviously you'll see this look in the video, this nice peachy, pinky, orangey look um, is going to be a review in Primark makeup and a lot of the other videos I'll be doing, I'll be showing you looks, hairstyles, I've even got a chopstick wand, so that's going to be fun, looking like put my fingers in a socket, um, and my hair's gone all whoosh. but yeah, so yeah, I'll be quite nervous because obviously, it was, yeah, I'm quite nervous, this is like the first one, I'm not going to lie. Um, so there, there'll be a lot of, oh yeah, there'll be fashion reviews, there'll be like hauls and sorts of other things and yeah, that's really, it's just basically it. Um, so I hope that you enjoy the video and we'll get to it. So I'm going to start off first with the PS Priming Water. This hydrates and refreshes skin. It was two pound. It doesn't say that it is um, cruelty free. So shape. Um, oh. Actually, smells quite nice. It smells really nice. This. Then I'm gonna start by underlining my brows. So brush up like this. Well, that's how I, I do my brows anyway. Brush them up. Then I'm going to go in with the foundation and contouring stick. Looks like that. And this, again, doesn't say that it is cruelty free. But I know a lot of products from Primark are cruelty free. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's try that again. Oh no, it's not coming out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's try it like that then. <laughs> so, get a good bit on your brush. This is £2.50, so £2.50 for that stick. Um, hopefully yours might be a bit better than mine coming out in the lid. So I'm gonna underline the brows with this. I'm gonna use this as a bit of a concealer, say. Well, I can't use it as a stick concealer no more, so. Hopefully. So we're gonna go in like this, just underline your brows. Oh God, only that could happen to me. Okay, so once you're done underlining your brows, I'll ju I just usually go in with my finger. <sighs> to be honest, I used to work at Primark, so that that shouldn't have been a surprise to me. But because I've had them before, and they usually have been quite good, that's the first time any of them has like come out of the actual tube. Like there is there is seriously nothing in the tube. It's completely come out so first for everything isn't there so we're just gonna keep continuing going over yeah just making sure that it's all nice blended like that okay then i'm gonna go in with this brow pomade as you can see, Primark again. It's actually two fifty, and this is cruelty free with the little sticker on the back, the little bunny. So that indicates to me that it's cruelty free. I know a lot of Primark is cute. Primark makeup is cruelty free. So, oh god. So that's a good thing. So a lot of vegans and vegetarians and people who just don't like makeup that's 
not cruelty free. So I'm going to pop, get quite a bit on the brush. And obviously this is actually quite a nice made. So just getting the excess off. And then we're going to go in the brow. I'm going to underline the brow first. Then I'm going to try and fill it in. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this brow there. Gonna go in, underlining. Obviously, that's why we brush them up before, so we could see that underline. And I'm gonna pop this on like so. So again, we're going to fill the brows in. We can obviously neaten them up again. So just keep going. We will wipe that away. Don't know what with, but we will. So I've not got no wipes. So I forgot to buy them. Hmm. So again with the other eye, you might be able to see this one a bit better because the light's on it. So again, we're gonna underline the brow and stop when it gets to about there. And then just push it up, blending it all in. So I'm going to push all that up blend it all in Okay, so feel a bit better on them now I Put the mirror down and I'm going to go look for a white so then we're going to wipe the top. So we're just going to push the up again. Now. Get rid of any excess. See how that brow, the brow shape is there now. My shape. I'm also neatening up any areas that I need to. So I'll keep that there and then we'll put the brush there. Okay, so right, we're gonna go back in with the contouring stick or concealer it is the contouring stick we're just going to neaten up under here so any gaps that I've left or anything like that there you go Just go back in again and then we're going to go in with the palette now these palettes I got two so I got ooh, well I got a rich jade and i got a ruby velvet now these are three pound both of them they were the, there was others there was like um a purple one and um an amber one but i think these because i don't usually wear green a lot so these are the colors that are in the green then you've got like khaki color then like a turquoise which is called evergreen oh you get also these little cards in them, which is really, really good. Hopefully they work really well. And I'm going to use the Ruby Velvet one today, which looks like that. 
these are the colours that you get in the ruby velvet. You get these colours, so you get this pink, really bright pink, which is called Bossy. This spotlight. Oh. This one, which is called Spotlight down here. It's like a really shimmery highlighter colour. Then you get like this nice brown, like chestnut brown. It's some really, really nice colours in here, like peaches and stuff like that. So gonna go in with this first off this peachy shade here which is called angelic so i'm going to start with that as like my transition shade then go into the dark shade looks like that on the brush which is a nice like peachy orange like really nice summery shade so i'm going to do it on the top crease oh this is actually really nice really really pigmented I like that I like that shade it's nice pinky it's nice summery oh I know where it looks like um when you mix the cranberry juice and the orange juice in the sex on the beach that's what it looks like that color that's the only way i can describe the color because it looks like that pe it looks like that peachy red color that's what we're going to call it right now peachy red other shades are like Quite peachy, quite pinky. So we're just softening that up a little bit so it's not as harsh. Then I'm just going to go back in with the colour again. Just make that crease a little bit more. I'm happy with that. Then we're gonna go in with another brush um, just to pop this all the colour in. So I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is another peaches and cream, if you hadn't already noticed. I'm gonna go in with the brown, which is like a chestnut colour brown, so it's that brown. And I'm gonna pop that on as well. Like sort of in the crease. Oh, I was gonna use the dark purple, but it's a shimmer. Um yeah um, i'm not really into i like matte colors more like i will use a shimmer but me personally i prefer mattes like a lot of people like shimmers i'm not a shimmer person so i love matte colors i like using shimmers but like only for like like that part of your eye, the lid of your eye, not so much the outer corners, cause sparkles just get everywhere. So it looks like that is kind of merged in together. It's quite pretty. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It looks like a bit of a smoke going on. I haven't made it that way, but I'll probably have, but not know this. But let's pop that there. Then I'm gonna just pat this on. Just the excess. Of what is on already on the brush from before just 
gonna put the brown there like so I'm gonna go in with this Amore shade so it looks like that it's like a ruby shade it's like a soft pink ruby shade it's quite nice see it in the light right, okay so just wipe that off so hopefully This is a more metallic than a shimmer. Blend that brown into it, like so. Okay, and that eye is done in with foundation so we're going to use this which is the perfect finish foundation it's a, my perfect color this is in the shade vanilla so I'm going to use that um, brush, brush, brush. I'm going to use a normal foundation brush then we're going to buff it in with a P 19 peaches and cream I do use a lot of peaches and cream brushes I just like them so much I think they're such good quality I'm gonna start off doing the cheeks and the chin first oh I thought I got that on my top corners of your eyes because we're going to go back in with the oh, corns are in stock you're going to get your brush again I'm going to get your little if this happens to you I'm just going to call it a pot it's really really creamy this like really really creamy it is really thick as well oh not I'm just gonna pop it here under your eye. This is in the shade Ivory, by the way, so I think it should be lighter than the vanilla. But if not, we'll see. So just pop it on like that. Beauty blender, this needs cleaning, but hey ho, I'm just gonna blend that in. All right, under your eye, blend it out. Then you can blend. 
Tuhan Maka And that is all done. So you've concealed under your eyes, which is really, really good actually. It's worked really well. Quite surprised in that. Then we're gonna go in with some blush. Which here I've got the Amour, which is this blush. It was £1.50. So it's like a peachy colour, peachy bronze. that pop it on the apples of your cheeks and then we're gonna go in with the eyeliner now this eyeliner is just basically called eyeliner gel ah, eyeliner gel it was one pound fifty and this is cruelty let's give it a go I mean, you need to be really close up with this mirror. Me, personally, I don't really use the gel liners. I'm not, like, a huge fan. So, using this is completely different from what I usually do. Me, I'm not really a fan of like a thick brush like that. I use I like thinner brushes, like a thin brush that I feel like I was in high school, like when I used to do my eyeliner. Oh, I feel like doing it now because it's dead thick at the bottom there. <laughs> that is literally how I feel. <laughs> so it's actually quite nice, like once like it's on. It is quite black, but it's not jet black, like, which is what I love. I love jet black eyeliner. I love jet black eyeliner so much. <sighs> Another thing that I'm not really a fan about using the gel liner is a lot of people do like it. Like, a lot of people do. I'm just a person. I don't like using it. I don't think it gives you that crisp. I mean, some people might be different, but me, I am... Um, Straight up proper liquid liner, done. But there was no liquid liner in Primark. There was only a pen liner. And I'm not a fan of pen liners either. I like. Right, that's better. Might not be the best, but it is better. Um. So next we're gonna move on to eyes. Well, eyelashes, we've already done eyes. So we're gonna move on to eyelashes. <laughs> so this this is called Amplify. It is Primark. It's a pound. Let's just try it out because I am very very skeptical about this. A lot of Primark eyelashes, but mascaras are really good. Woohoo! That's the brush. It's not clumpy. actually it's not too bad it's not the best but it's not bad i don't really feel like i've got any mascara on i don't look like i've got any mascara on so yeah this is weird but it's good job i've got false lashes so these are called double trouble when I used to work in Primark, they never had these. I think they were just bringing them out. Um, yeah. So these these are a pound. I think a lot of the PS lashes are a pound, apart from like the Dulux ones. Like, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But um, yeah, these are really, really good. Yeah, these are quite nice for a pound. Yeah, 
I'm quite happy with these. I would buy these. I would buy these again. If I mean, I've tried them before. I've tried lashes before, like the dramatic ones. I used to wear them a lot. But I've never tried these double trouble ones. I'm not a fan of the sultry ones, but they're the most popular. I don't know why. They're, they're too thin for me. I like a dramatic lash. I like a big, fluffy, yeah, out there lash. But should be dry now. I love the effect lashes give, but I hate putting them on. There you go. They're actually really pretty on. That's better. So we're gonna go back in again with the Amplify. There you go. It looks better with the Amplify on the lashes. Definitely looks more fluffy, more of a fluffy lash. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. I do like them, I will get them again. They just really hard to put on yeah definitely double trouble for a pound for one pound oh yeah okay so almost done time for the lips so this is a lip liner this was a pound also this is called a velvet touch so it's like that color it's pinky color and I got lip gloss high shine ultra lightweight lip gloss. This was a pound as well, what one pound fifty. It's like a a nice rosy pink. Um, yeah, it's nice. I, I thought it'd be nice as well because we're going for the pink theme and nice natural lip. Quite nice. So when I line the lips, I always line my lips first before I put lip gloss on. It's a really nice, creamy lip liner. It's not one that you can sharpen. You can't sharpen this one. It's gone, you, you've got to throw it away. But it's really, really nice consistency. It's a nice rosy colour. goes on so easy it's really nice color i do like it i will get it again and now time for the gloss so this will probably be a sheer gloss with a little bit of color but it's nice it's quite oh it has got color it goes really well 
with the lip liner. It's got a little bit of sparkling. Not too much, just a bit. So, that is our look. So, oh, one more thing. I'm gonna use this spotlight for a highlight. So it's, oh, actually that's maybe a bit, actually, no, it's quite nice. I'm quite happy. I do like, I do like the lip gloss and I like the eyeshadow palette. Three pound. I'm not really gonna complain. Don't think I would get the eyeliner again. As I said, I'm not a massive fan of gel liners. But yeah, I'm really quite happy with my look. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And obviously this is my first one. Many more to come. But I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And I hope you'll enjoy many more watchings. Um, yeah, thank you very much.